Loading, loading, loading. Come on. Ugh. My own brothers died tragically as well, truth be told. The Wild Bunch. Juarez, 1868. It was 1868, and me and my older brothers were pulling a tidy profit running cattle into Juarez, Mexico. One night after my brothers retired for the evening, I found a little poker game in a cantina with a couple of cowboys. And I just couldn't lose. I even won an old Spanish coin that had to be a hundred years old. Well, I was mighty pleased with myself the next morning as my brothers and I rode for Texas. But before we crossed the border, those cowboys caught up with us. It was Johnny Ringo, Roscoe Bob Bryant, and another asshole named Jim. They wanted their money back and everything else we had, including our lives, as those boys didn't want us coming for them later. Bob put that old Spanish coin in my mouth and said, I won't have it said that I left you with nothing, boy. Well, those horses bolted, and there we hung as those bastards rode away. The branch finally snapped under the weight of the three of us, but me and my older brothers were bigger and heavier. They were already dead. And right then, I swore to myself that I would avenge them. Ringo, you know about. But Bob eluded me. Until I heard he was riding with the Wild Bunch. Mm -hmm. Some backstory to the character, finally. Let's see, according to this. The not-so-great train robbery. Hmm. Let's see, 68. And it's taking place in 1910, so 42 years. 42 years, huh? I'd been on their trail for months, ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Chief Led by Wild Butch Bunch. Cassidy. They were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid, and that murderous hombre I was tracking, Roscoe Bob Bryant. Were you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, I wanted Bryant all to myself. Mm -hmm. I'd heard about a large shipment of gold being transported to Wilcox, Wyoming on the Overland Flyer. I figured the Wild Bunch would likely hit such a treasure, and by God, I figured right. Whoa. They blew the bridge with the intention of forcing the train to stop. Well, I assumed the Wild Bunch was likely in the still intact part of the train high above. So I had no choice but to make my way up through the passenger cars dangling down. I was determined to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he right. did to my brothers. Just want to make sure no nugget in here. Wow, well, isn't this convenient? Ears are still ringing from blowing up that bridge. What'd you say? I can't hear a goddamn thing. Ah, well, shit. I made my way out of one scale and came upon a few numbers of the gang and had no choice but to dispatch them. From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious route. But first, I would need to get my ass out of there. I jumped from the fire and 
into the fire as the train was clearly fixing to fall. I had found the gang, but in order to find old Bob, I needed to fight my way forward past the whole passel of desperados. Outside, inside, any way I could, I made my way towards my prey. It was mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. Well, you made me miss. Do you hear me? Oh, no point. <laughs> <laughs> 